fallen into disrepair. The closure of Mount Kira Road after rock slides causing tourist numbers to plummet. But now the famous award-winning Illawarra Flame House developed by students from the University of Wollongong could be the answer. Self-sustaining and eco-friendly, it wouldn't even require power to operate. It's the moment the Illawarra Flame House soared to international fame. Now the house is back home and community groups want it to reach even greater heights. We are world leaders in, uh, in, eco, uh, in eco building. Why not use it in an area here which is suffering? A Facebook campaign has been launched calling for the technology used by the Flame House to help rebuild the disused Mount Kira kiosk. With no power or water connected to the top of the mountain, the idea of a self sustaining building already has the support of Lord Mayor Gordon Bradbury. Powers and wires are not going to be the way of the future. Self sustaining buildings will be the way of the future. So, this is a possible way in which we can highlight the technology of the region, apply it to a, a really good site, and to achieve something. But the university is yet to get on board. Calls for something to be done at the site are mounting. In a little over two months, the stabilising works here on Mount Cure Road will be completed, meaning once again this access way will be open. The Save Mount Cure Action Group says revamping the site needs greater cooperation between council and the private sector. And if we can all come together on the same page, Mount Cure Lookout will be world class. But at the moment it's not. Uh, there's three of us here at the moment. And uh, I know it's a little bit wet. But I tell you what, this should be uh, the jewel of our crown. A report is currently being compiled by council staff exploring the possibility of developing the site. Rob Morrison, Wing News.